I'm George Hutzlinger. I'm the president of Belmont Instrument Corporation. We're located in Bill Ricca, and we've developed and uh, manufacture and sell uh, medical devices. This is one of our lead products. It's called the Belmont Rapid Infuser. It's sometimes called the FMS 2000, and it's for massive transfusion of blood for patients uh, who have lost a lot of blood, either due to severe hemorrhage in either trauma or in military uh, combat uh, or in um, uh, a surgery in the hospital. This is our electromagnetic uh, heat exchanger, and uh, there's an electromagnetic coil around here, and there's a ferrite piece to uh, trap the electromagnetic field. There's another piece on the door, and there are 16 stainless steel rings, and the rings get warm uh, from the uh, varying uh, ma magnetic field, and um, the flow is the pump flow uh, pumps the fluid through the rings in between these channels in semicircles and it warms the blood and the pump is here in the corner here and it's very simple the rollers and the plate and kind of line up and you simply close the door to engage it and then we measure temperature at the input through a very thin window in this disposable set and we measure the output temperature in a similar thin window so this machine pumps and warms and then we also detect for air. There's an air detector in here that tells us that we're running out of fluid. And there's an air detector here that makes sure there's no air going to come into the patient. So it's just simply a matter of closing the door and it's ready to run. We are um, running this at a fairly low rate. It's uh, 120 ml per minute. It's not terribly low, but it's, uh, it, the machine will go much higher. And as we start running it, uh, the machine will start warming the fluid. And this is the, re the readout is in degrees centigrade. So it will not read 98.6, which you're used to. Uh, uh, normal body temperature in centigrade is 37 degrees C. This will be just above it just to give it some extra warmth so that it'll, if it cools a little in the line, we're still going into the body right around body temperature. The other controls are to increase and, and decrease the uh, infusion rate, which we do precisely. And if you want to stop the, pro the machine in a hurry, you just push stop. So it's pretty simple. The Relevancy Olympics is our Canadian distributor uh, was contacted by the uh, representative from the Olympic Committee that they would like to have one of our rapid infusers at the mobile hospital uh, for the Winter Olympics at Whistler in British Columbia. It's not connected with a particular event. It's really just in case... Uh, uh, something untoward happens and, they, and, and somebody really needs to be treated uh, in an emergency uh, for massive bleeding. And so I'd ima imagine that the, the hope is it'll never have to be used.